Good morning, YouTube. So I've heard a lot about this NVIDIA RTX voice. I went ahead and downloaded it, and I got to say, I'm very impressed with what it can do. Um, I am currently banging on the table right now. I know, I know you can't see it, but um, I am banging on the table like hard, and I have a plastic folding table. My my um, uh, microphone is sitting right on top, so it's picking up the vibrations and everything, but you probably cannot hear anything at all. Um, so I was really impressed, and I've just stopped tapping on the table because it was starting to annoy me. Um, I was really impressed with what was going on. I've seen some demonstrations on YouTube, kids screaming, fans going, vacuum cleaners, all kinds of stuff, it, crazy stuff happening in the background, and it cut out everything. Um, you may have heard while I was doing the demonstration of banging on the desk that my voice got a little bit choppy. Um, that's probably the AI really working really hard to, <laughs> to pull out all the drumming. Um, and this is great. This is great for streamers. It's great for people who want to record things. Um, just because I'm able to turn down my noise gate and my compression, or excuse me, my compression and my noise gate, and have it just go in as an input because, you know, um, the RTX is using AI to cancel all that so I don't need this anymore which is really awesome um, I think it's just user friendly there's no dialing things in um, just for the sake of audio fidelity um, the trade-off is it does use your GPU so right now it's sitting at about 8% right um, and through some testing, I found that it takes about three to four percent of your GPU load to run this program. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off RTX real quick and you'll see the load drop down um, and then I'll turn it back on. But if when I do that, the, my voice is going to cut out. So you hear silence for a couple of seconds. All right. So I'm going to turn off RTX now. Okay, so we'll let this normalize here. But what you probably saw was it dropped down to 4% and then it stayed there, right? So that's kind of our baseline. And then when I turned it back on, it went up to about 8%. So anywhere between 3 to 4% is it what's going to take to run RTX Voice. And I think that's very reasonable for what you're getting <clears throat> in terms of... <clears throat> Excuse me. For what you're getting in terms of just the noise cancellation of everything that could be annoying around you, I think it's a good payoff. Um, if you're running GPU intensive games, um, you could just turn down a lot of the settings, and if you're, you know, willing to do that and get better recording or audio um, because of that. And that, that's important to streamers. You don't want to hear the lawnmower going because, you know, your neighbor decided to mow his lawn in the middle of the day um, while you're streaming. So I just wanted to put this information out there. I thought it was really interesting. And I, again, I think it's totally worth the payoff. So uh, thanks guys for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.